setting new standards in podcast excellence. You have joined the WBT, fully focused on business and taxes. Here is your host, Michael Lodge. And welcome to the WBT. This is Mike Lodge. I'm glad that you've joined me. I tell you, I'm currently right now in my Burbank office, and I'm here setting everything up, getting everything ready, because as you know, tax season begins next week on the 29th. Are you guys ready? Well, so I've been here for three weeks now, and I've been setting everything up, making sure all the software is working and the everything's talking to each other and everybody has it on their systems and we've gone over the policies and procedures Everything that you have to do in order to get your tax office up and running to service so many clients. And we serve about 3,500 clients in a four-month period. So that's a lot of tax stuff that we need to know, do, and get organized for. So I'm, I'm here in Burbank, and I decided this time when I came out here that I was going to try – Something new. And that new thing was in my, where my office is in Burbank. I'm right next to Warner Brothers Studios. I'm right next to Disney. I'm up this, down the street from Universal Studios. I, I'm in a building where we have radio and television broadcasting going on 24 hours a day. It's a media building. <clears throat> and what's interesting is I decided this time is that around, I decided within a five block radius, I was going to try all the little tiny restaurants that are are in that section. And let me tell you something. It is probably one of the best experiences that I have had. And then as I was thinking about it this morning, I was thinking, do you know what? You've justified this trip coming to Burbank just so that you could have something to eat. So I think that all my awards, rewards, I mean, that I'm going to get is... If I'm going to go <laughs> to a seminar, my first question is, what's the food? <laughs> and so I've got to start retraining myself that it's not all about food when you do these trips. But in this particular trip, I decided to do that just so I would know. We're in a brand new office. And so it's a brand new. I was in my last office for eight years. So I knew where everything was. I knew where I could walk to. I knew where everything was that was stuff that I shouldn't be eating, but I was eating it anyway because I was stressed out because it was tax season. So this time I thought, well, I'm going to walk around and I'm going to drive around and I'm going to see exactly what the small restaurants there. So I found a really small restaurant that have really good food. You would be surprised that when... Just in a matter of a few seconds, it might be just this little hole in the wall where it might seat maybe 20 people, but they've got the best food. And I think that we as business people, when we're in our offices, we shouldn't just be looking for the McDonald's and the Burger King's and and all these other restaurants for a good meal. There is so many good restaurants around us that have really, really good food. So, I I would encourage each and every single one of you, get to know your local restaurants better. Even if it's a hole in the wall, you would be surprised what good food is really there. So, my trip to Burbank this week, uh, this uh, th- these last three weeks, have been really good to 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 really focus on what we're going to do for the 2018 tax season, and. Learning about our neighborhood and learning about our building and learning about new clients that are calling in to make appointments. It's so I've, it's really kind of a great experience, uh, these last three weeks to really learn a lot. But the other issue is that in this process of learning, I also came down with the worst cold that I ever, that I've ever had. I haven't been sick in, in 30 years. But this time, it hit me and it hit me bad. It literally knocked me into my my bed for three to four days. <clears throat> and the problem is now is that even to this day, I haven't been able to really do a podcast every day that I normally do because 
I have this constant desire to want to cough all the time. And with this cold, it lingers on in your chest, and it is the worst feeling ever. So there were some mornings when I got up to do a podcast, and I really sounded like a girl. I don't know, my my voice was changing up and down. I'm just barely now getting my voice back. So I'm I'm hoping that I'm back to normal. So now we need to talk about a little bit about uh, taxes. Um, I, I really want to emphasize that the more organized that you are, the better that your accountant can work for you. We have so many clients that come in with things in shoe boxes and everything else. Think about this. When you're working on so many clients during the tax season, and if you're not prepared, if you haven't added up all those all those things in your shoe box for your accountant, that means your accountant has to do it for you. And that takes a lot of time away from other clients, and it takes a lot of time away from you. So... I would encourage you, please, please, please get organized for your tax accountant. It's really, really vital. If you need a tax organizer, go to my website at lodge, www.lodge, L-O-D-G-E, dash, C-O, dot com. Click on client forms and you will find a tax, tax organizer for your personal side and for your business. It's down below everything. Organize yourself because if you own a business and if you haven't prepared a financial statement or a balance sheet, that means that that tax accountant has to do it or one of his staff members has to do it very quickly in order to comply. Also, remember this. March 15th, your S-Corps and your LLCs and your partnerships are due. Your C Corp is due on March, on April 19th. So you need to get your stuff ready, get your act together, and get your financial statements done. If you haven't done your financial statements, call us and we'll do it. If there's a fee to it, but we'll do it for you because we have accountants on duty that can do that for you. But you need to be organized in the preparation to go to your tax accountant. So once again, go to, if you need an organizer for your individual side or for your business side, go to www.lodge-co.com and click on Client Forms. So tax season begins next week, and we are, we're ready Our office is ready to go. We're reviewing tax law again this morning with staff, but we're ready to go, and we are are here at any given time. If you need our phone number, just go to my website, and you can find out what our website, what our phone number is there. The other thing that I want to talk to you about is if you are a small business, You don't take enough time to analyze what your risk is. Risk is something that you need to look at on a yearly basis. Because you never know when a crisis may hit you. You need to know what to say to your clients. You need to, maybe, you may even may need to know what to say to your media or your employees. But you need to have a crisis management plan, even for the smallest of business. Because one bad apple can spoil the whole bunch, boy. I think that was a Donnie and Marie, or was that a Michael Jackson? No, I think it was Donnie and Marie that saying that. But there is, it's true. One bad apple can spoil the whole bunch. Because I've lived through it, so I'm speaking from experience that just one individual can pretty much destroy almost everything that you've built over the course of the year. You need to know how to deal with it, you know how to be prepared for it, and you need to know how to move forward with confidence. Because I tell you, when the crisis hits you, you lose your confidence, confidence, confidence I mean, very, very quickly. Because you've got all these people pounding on you from all different sides. I speak 
to you from experience on this. And it means that you need to, the part of crisis management is making sure that the ethical part of your business includes your employees. Because all it takes is one unethical employee to really give you a bad name. All it takes is one bad accountant to destroy your whole reputation on the financial statements that you present to your bank. So we need to think more about risk management. In the, in the next few days, I'm going to publish a, a blog on risk management and how it's so important for businesses to really plan for a crisis. And that crisis could even be that the, that the owner died. Who's going to run it? Who steps in? Who has control? Do you sell the business? What do you do? That's a crisis. But it can be managed if you have a good crisis management plan in place. I tell you, when I had a crisis management, it was a crisis that happened to me two years ago with an employee. And it literally almost took me completely down. But I sat there and I said, okay, how am I going to manage it? Who's going to speak? Who's going to deal with the issue? Who's going to take care of the legal situation as it comes on us? Who is going to, in other words, I I wrote, sat down and I wrote a list and assigned responsibilities to my staff. And I knew that if I gave them responsibility, they would take ownership of the crisis and resolve the crisis. And I didn't have to stand there all alone. Because when it hits you, you feel as if you're all alone. So you need to bring in your team and make them part of the resolution of the crisis. Don't hesitate at any given time to sit down and put together a crisis management plan. And go over all the scenarios that could happen within the industry that you're in. Go over all the scenarios of what would happen if an employee did this or that. Think about it very carefully. Put it in writing. Put it on your computer. Put it on, talk it over with your staff and your employees. And be ready for anything to happen. It's funny because I always tell my clients, you know, that within a snap of a moment, a click of a moment, a blink of an eye, within a blink of an eye, something could happen and everything could almost be gone. Almost, use the word almost because you can resolve anything and you can do things that can protect you. So the crisis management side is vital for any small business. I encourage you to do that. If you need help, just write me an email at mlodge at lodge-co.com and I'll walk you through the steps. And if you want me to write one for you, if you want me to meet with you, I will be more than happy to. Crisis can happen to the smallest of companies, to the biggest of companies. So always be be prepared. So again, remember next week, 29th, individual tax returns begin, being prepared, March 15th, LLCs, S-Corps, partnerships are due to be filed in March, I mean April 19th, individuals are due to be filed. One other thing, (coughs) excuse me, see what I mean? Sickness gets to you. One other thing is that all 1099s and W-2s are due on January 30th. So you need, or 31st, at the end of the month, the last day of the month, they need to be filed with the Internal Revenue Service and with the state agencies. So if you haven't done that yet, you better do it. You only have one more week to do it. So get it done. 
because you don't want to be hit with those penalties and and uh, everything else that you get hit with by the IRS in some states. <coughs> Goodness, I hate that cold. But you see what happens. It always hits the chest. So any of you are sick, I'm sorry about that. All of you guys, get well if you're sick. Focus on getting sick. As I'm... I mean, focus on not getting sick, but getting well, I mean. <laughs> but get well. Take as much water as you can, orange juice, vitamin C, whatever you can to blast that, that sickness out of you. So I've got to end this podcast because I've got to get to work. So this is Mike Lodge with the WBT, and I'll talk with you soon. Thank you for listening to the WBT with Michael Lodge. Join us again tomorrow as we explore more about business and taxes. Follow us on iHeartRadio and go to our podcast website at www.wbtpod.com and listen to all of our podcasts and read our blogs. World of business and taxes on Brought to you by Lodge Co., a business and tax advisory firm where your success is our goal. Call us today toll free at 888-681-1518 or visit us at www.lodge-co.com and learn more about what we can do for you. Lodge Co., your source for sound business and tax services.